A new type of security test has been invented that uses a touch screen to tell us someone is lying. The inventor says the new system is fast, inexpensive, and accurate. News 8's Steve Price took the test and he <laughs> joins us now with the results. Steve? Yeah, Barbara Lee and Carl, this actually comes from a San Diego company that is hoping to make the world a safer place. It's not only not as intrusive as, say, a full body scan, but it's also designed so that human error is never a problem. As terrorists try to figure out new ways to slip past airport security, we got your results right here. A San Diego based company is unveiling a new system to keep us one step ahead of the bad guys. A polygraph test takes 90 minutes. This takes less than two minutes. It's a touchscreen test, 15 questions, a few simple ones at the beginning to set a baseline. Then I was asked specific questions about my involvement with smuggling weapons and terrorism. You don't have any problems with the weapons. You don't have any problems with the smuggling issue. You did have one hit on terrorism. We're not concerned about one hit. The color of the number one shows my threat level, blue, which is low. I'd be allowed to enter the country. Red is high and would get you further questioning. This is the system that is fast, inexpensive, easy to operate, has no has no personal bias in it. It's a machine. Peter Heckman is a retired vice admiral with 40 years of military experience. He'd like to see the touchscreen analyzer not just at airports and border crossings, but also at embassies and consulates. This is a system that will detect dishonesty. He cites the December suicide bombing at a U.S. base in Afghanistan that killed seven CIA agents. The bomber invited onto the base turned out to be a double agent who was also working for the Taliban. This system would have quickly identified the suspicions in that person's background. It works by measuring pressure and hesitation. And because it's sensitive enough to detect a change as slight as ten thousandths of a second, it's practically impossible to cheat. We're talking to a number of government agencies right now. Sprague's company called Profiles Research Services has been working on this for more than seven years. They're still trying to win over government agencies, but feel they are closer now than ever before, which could create thousands of new jobs, a win for San Diego, and security around the world. And if you'd like more information about the touchscreen stress analyzer, go to our website, cbs8.com, click on the hot button. We've set up a link to their website. And what's interesting here is that they can make this very portable. So let's say troops in the field in, in, in Iraq or in Afghanistan could take it with them, could talk to people on the ground, find out who are on their side, who isn't on their side. Otherwise, otherwise people wouldn't be able to tell. Very interesting. One hit on terrorism, huh? One hit on, but he said I would still be allowed in the country. On a serious note, though, any idea as to, as to why that may have come up like that? They said it was because I had a slight hesitation on that one question. Maybe uh -huh. I just read it a little slower than my reading level was for the other questions. It's that sensitive. But they take all that into account. Exactly. And that's why you came up blue. It's, it's why I'm allowed in the country. All right. Thanks, a lot Steve. of the set. For now. <laughs> for now. <laughs>